This is from Fault Kid. And surprisingly, I haven't reviewed the, the second or the third Back to the Future for movies. I know it's been, when has it been? Oh, yeah, it's been two freaking years since I have reviewed those ones. Gee. I think I did say I was going to, but somehow I forgot. And I was still surprised I hadn't reviewed the, the, the other two movies. And that's crazy. I mean, gee. And this time, but hey, this time I'm going to be reviewing the other two. The last two that will come. And yes, I had reviewed the first one already. Yes, I did. Man, this is crazy though. And yep. And yes, I'm going to review, of course, the second part. I mean, the second one, which was... Part two of Back to the Future, which takes place after the first one, so. And then the next video, I will I will review Back to the Future Part Three. So, anyway, let's just get this movie start um, review started and um, and plot now. Okay, so the plot um is about you know it's not about yeah it is about that but we all know if we this is we watch the movie or not but so the plot we have Marty and his girlfriend Jennifer. Now they were about to ride in, um, in Marty's new new truck that they that they bought him, and then, and then apparently Doc, you know, just told Marty to get, get to the future or go travel to the future of 2015, you know, to see about their kids, you know, being in trouble or what's going on, you know, getting arrested or something, a problem, you know. But they get to the future, and then we got this 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 futuristic um, place like these flying cars motorcycle or something like that but oh, I don't think there's some uh, futuristic motorcycle though in this I can't remember but anyway so then Doc gave him his future uh, clothes especially that <laughs> that futuristic was it paralyzes shoes he puts it on and it like just you know just ties up by itself which I thought was pretty cool though which I I think those things already existed now those paralyzed shoes which I bet they're a bit mad bet. I think I looked it up. I think they said it cost like maybe forty-two thousand dollars or something for that shoes. She, I think those, those those shoes are. I looked it up, you know. But yeah, I looked up the shoes and they're like maybe. I think they're like forty-two thousand when I looked it up. Those shoes, man, they're that's a pretty expensive just because they they worth a lot. But anyway, yeah, we got this jacket with sleeves going like this, like a slanky or you know. So you went to that bar and they went to that that 80s style looking you know and there's also an arc cowboy duck hunting looking arcade you know shooting at it you know and he gives a pet he bought he bought himself a pepsi and then and then of course his son marty jr mcfly jr yeah marty jr or whatever you call him yeah you know, marty jr mcfly you know came here you know of course we got old b a biff you know who's already got older you know and of course we've got his grandchildren show them you know which is him and the bullies you know beating up marty jr and the real marty you know no not real marty you know the marty himself you know huh you know fighting you know and beats them up you know <laughs> and marty got out of the bar and he borrowed the girl one of those um hoverboard the little pink um skateboard thing the florida sk the floating skateboard thing you know you just ride on yeah it's, it's a hoverboard so um so he rides one of those and and um uh, so yeah they so they all after him you know they <laughs> and then marty accidentally made biff's um green kids and <laughs> not green kids but i mean one of his grand his green kid or dude you know, and his friends have uh, crashed into that building, the clock buildings, and they all got arrested. <laughs> it's still Marty Jr., so. And then Jennifer accidentally get picked up by the cops, you know, drop off to her ha own house, you know. Kind of funny, there's no doorknobs in the in the future, though, but in that, right now, there is a doorknob, see? Yep, there is a doorknob right now, though, but I mean, I would have been surprised if we, I mean, if we grew up without a doorknob, that's kind of crazy, you know, because, I mean, thing is, I was 16 in 2015, believe it or not, but I would have been surprised if they just removed knobs, you know, in, like, maybe in 2010s or 2015 in real life, I don't know. I would have been surprised about that, you know, if they 
do that, you know. Or not like doorknobs no more, but yeah, but anyway. It's kind of weird though, and then, then uh, Jennifer saw his, his her own family, her future family hi hides in there, you know. It was cool that, I mean, it's got that futur futuristic look at Pete, the oven. Um, you know, Marty's mother puts a pizza, a little bitty thingy, which turns out to be a pizza. And she t talks and said, or level four or whatever, you know, it cooks by itself. It just sounds like it's boiling, but it didn't. And guess what? Opens it up and it's a actual, an actual pizza. So <laughs> it's kind of funny though. Even though they got the little fruit, the cinder layer things up from the ceiling, you know, got fruits or grapes or whatever out, you know, and that was actually pretty cool though. I have a feeling maybe next day or two, they're probably gonna do that. I don't, I don't know. I'm not saying they will, but I have a feeling they might. But especially removing doorknobs, which, which I have a strange feeling they're, kind of, they're probably gonna remove doorknobs maybe in the next decade or two. I don't know. But who knows though? But I mean, only guy knows they're ever gonna do that or not. But anyway. So, um. So yeah, um. So Jennifer, I mean, so future Marty, um, who's turns out to be the father in the future, who got fired, so. But did Jennifer get, like, grab one of the paper, your fire paper, and she gets out, and she made her own future, they all screamed and passed out, and a dog picked her up, you know, they all got into the future. So, okay, before that, now, now Biff, oh Biff, picked up one of that comic, not comic book, but like a comic book, or, or type of book that, how the future works, you know. He literally got into the future of the, the car, you know, and changed his own good future, changed his own past to make his future better. But apparently that was so freaking dumb because now Biff erased his own old loser future, future now. I mean, that's kind of funny. That was kind of dumb how he does that. But, but now, um, what else? Oh, yeah. So he went back home, you know, apparently... The year 1985, um, his house, you know, got replaced by some some family, you know, not replaced, you know, the family got replaced, you know, by some other family, and everybody got completely different because of Beth, and even the principal, I mean, you know, who calls Marty and his father a slacker, you know, putting a sh shock, pointing a shotgun at Marty, you know, and. And everybody started shooting, and you know, and Marty started hiding from from them. And you know, it's on a newspaper, or something just happened. You know, apparently Marty finds finds out that his father gets murdered by Biff, and then right before he he actually married um, his mother, and started freaking out, and gets knocked knocked out by his his uh, member the. Fifth members, you know, or game members, I don't know how you say it, but everything's gone completely different, of course, though. He met his father Tombstone, I mean, visited his father's Tombstone, you know. And then Marty gets back in 1955 just to fix the, the, fix the, the, the past and, uh, you know, fix the timeline. And he sees his own self, like for the first movie, you know, and, um, you know, he gets, grabbed the book, went, went back and went out and, <laughs> and then uh, apparently, you know, apparently Biff crashed into another, another truck, you know, and while well, um, Marty got the hoverboard, or rides right, the hoverboard just to get the book, so he got the book and, but good news, his father's saved and everything back to normal, you know, and, um, <clears throat> Sorry, um And then um and then um they um so uh, Marty ends up burning the book and, and then um Doc was in that car though and the a lightning struck and disappears too. In 1885, you know, as Marty finds out now, um, from Marty first Marty, Marty finds out that he's still alive out there, and then, <laughs> and then Marty, you know, went back to Doc from 1955, and you know, 
and you tell him that he's back in 1955 and Bernard Doc's like, great Scott, and just pass out, you, excuse me, pass out, you know, and just, yes, the to be continued, uh, excuse me, yeah, to be, to be, uh, to be continued, you know, and, um, you know, it's got the 1855 action stuff for, you know, I mean, but anyway, I still have to say about the plot about this movie, you know, what do I think of the sequel? I, I still think it was a great sequel in my opinion. I love the sequel though, as long as the first one, and yeah, I, I do like the third one though, but I kind of like the sequel the best in my opinion, but, the second one though, but, the first one was always be the, be the classic. We all, I know, I always enjoyed the first one, that's my favorite, probably, and the other two, but yeah. But, um, yeah, it was cool that it's got all those, and when they went back to 2015, you know, they, of course, none of the stuff didn't happen in 2015, like, I was 16 at the time, and, you know, in 2015, when we didn't have those futuristic stuff, like flying cars or whatever, but I don't know, I mean, especially we don't have, especially we still have doorknobs, I mean, which I thought was, I mean, that's kind of, <laughs> kind of normal if you ask me, though, but. I would have been surprised they do that though, but you know, uh, well, what am I trying to say? Oh yeah. Oh, even the paralyzed shoes that I have already mentioned earlier. I mean, those things cost a lot of money right now because I just looked them up. I don't know if they actually exist actually or not. Those, those things. I don't know if they do I actually made them. I just looked them up on Google Images. I mean, I guess they are made, or maybe there's a third party or. A homemade shoes. I don't those shoe up uh, paralyzed shoes. I don't know. Yeah, especially hover. Oh, speaking of the hoverboard, I haven't mentioned about hoverboard. Now the hoverboard, those little flying things. We do have one, but unfortunately, the hoverboard real ones right now they have wheels. You know, you have to stay on your your two legs instead of just using these things. You know, the little handle. I mean, we didn't have one because I thought I was going to be sucked at doing that, though, because, believe it or not, I'm kind of suck at doing skateboards, so I never or I ne never knew how to ride a skateboard, believe it or not, though. I just thought those things can hurt you, you know, but even the hoverboards, those, you know, those little floating things like that, though, but I don't know. I mean, I don't know if those things are gonna, they're going to make those or not. Who knows? I mean... I'm not quite sure to ever do that though, but that'll be cool. I mean, that'll be kind of pretty cool though. I'm, I'm like, why not? So, other things, I, I don't know about those, but yeah, I still, yeah, I, even, I still enjoy the second one though. I love it. It's a great sequel. I mean, I, I'm surprised I haven't reviewed that and nor the third one, which I will review the third one next. So, it's kind of crazy though to know, you know, but. So anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. And to be, um, and, and stay tuned for the third movie. Peace.